Hey, welcome to Rosa Forever. It's Terry, and today I am back with some delicious Daniel Fast recipes for you. With this particular Daniel Fast recipe that we're starting with, you're going to need two sweet potatoes or one. Um, I'm actually going to use these to make two different recipes. So the first recipe you'll only need one and the second recipe you'll need another one, which is why I said you'll need two sweet potatoes. So I have washed and literally like scrubbed all the dirt off of these potatoes. So make sure you do that for sure. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a fork and I'm going to poke some holes all over the potatoes with my fork. So I'm going to do that for both. And then after I do that, then I'm going to rub each of these sweet potatoes with some oil and then I'm going to bake them in the oven um, at 400 degrees for about 45 to 60 minutes. So until they're nice and soft, it just depends on your oven. The temperature of, you know, each different type of oven varies. So you know what works for you. So I would check it at about 45 minutes. It might even be done around 40 minutes. So it really depends on the type of oven that you have. So again, I'm just going to pierce these, add some oil all over, just rub some oil all over the skin, and then put this in the oven at 400 degrees for 45 to 60 minutes. And then I will show you what happens next. So now that my potato is finished, all I did was allow it to cool for a minute. And then I just removed the skin and I cut it in half. And then what I have here is one cup of almond milk. You could always use coconut milk, hemp milk, or any other type of plant-based milk. I have some almond butter. I'm going to use one tablespoon of that. I have my cinnamon here. And again, whatever you don't like, you can omit from this recipe. And I have my medjool dates. I'm going to use two of these. You could also um, use raisins instead if you'd like. And then I have some uh, organic shredded unsweetened coconut flakes. I have my hemp hearts here. And then I have my chia seeds. And these are all for toppings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up my almond milk. So remember your potato is already warm because you just took it out the oven. If you're using this the next day, you don't have to heat up your potatoes if you were to save them and make this recipe for breakfast the next day. So um, this is a delicious uh, breakfast recipe for your Daniel fast as well. So if you, um, you know, put your potatoes aside, you might want to heat them up or again, you could just leave them cold um, because your milk's going to be warm. So you can just heat this milk up over um, the stove over medium to high heat heat or you can microwave it for one minute until it gets nice and steamy and then um, I'll show you what to do next so for now what you're just gonna, you're going to do is to get your milk nice and ready and then also you can also take your dates and make sure if your dates have the seed inside of them that you open it up and remove those seeds from your two dates so that's what you're going to do and then I'll show you what the next step is in this process for this delicious Daniel fast recipe all right guys, so as you can see, I have now added my steaming almond milk with my potato, my almond butter, and my two dates to the blender. So you just need a high powered blender. I have my Ninja, you guys know I use that in all of my videos. Um, if you don't have a blender, you could always use a food processor. I'm sorry if this is getting steamy it's because the milk is warm. <laughs> so as you can see, I use one tablespoon of almond butter, so that's up to you. I'm also going to add a dash of cinnamon right in to my blender as well so I love cinnamon so I'm adding my dash is like a nice amount because cinnamon is great keeps your blood sugar stable especially when you're on the Daniel fast you want to make sure that you're not getting hungry after you have your meal so now all I'm going to do is blend this on high for one minute or until it becomes nice and smooth that's up to you depending on how you like your um, you know consistency in terms of texture so all I'm going to do is just add that right to the uh, motor and blend away for a minute until it's nice and smooth and then I'll show you what happens next. And now that it's finished blending, all I'm going to do is just pour it right into my bowl. And then once all this is in my bowl, I'm just going to add my toppings. And guys, this is a delicious Daniel Fast breakfast recipe. So for those of you who don't like bananas and you're like, well, what can I have instead of banana? This is a fantastic alternative. You could also add more almond milk and turn this into a smoothie if you would like. And so for my toppings, I'm just going to add the shredded coconut, the hemp seeds, 
and the chia seeds on top and also because i like banana i'm going to cut up some slices of banana and just add it right to this and this is a delicious daniel fast recipe so if you're excited to try this recipe hit that thumbs up button and also if you enjoy these videos share with your friends so they too can join you during the daniel fast all right let's check out our next delicious daniel fast recipe so before we jump to our next recipe, I just want to quickly show you guys what my final bowl looks like. And this is what I'll be having as a Daniel Fast breakfast. And this, guys, is so delicious. And I mean, you could also have this in the middle of the day for lunch if you would like. It's just a hearty, warm bowl. And again, if you don't like the bananas, just skip the bananas. Whatever you don't like, you can omit. But this, guys, is so delicious. It's amazing so let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you're excited to try this daniel fast delicious uh sweet potato bowl recipe all right guys for the next recipe i still have that sweet potato that i have baked and set to the side but what i'm going to do is i'm going to make some black beans that's going to go right on top so here you can see that i have two different types of onions. I have a red onion and then a regular uh, sweet onion. I just chopped up some of those. You don't have to use two different types of onions. The reason why I did that is because I have this red onion and I don't want it to go bad. So I'm going to get a different flavor profile by mixing the two different types. So that's why I'm using two, but you could use just one type of onion. I have uh, two different color bell peppers, which I washed and chopped up as well. And then I have a can of black beans, which I rinsed and drained. And then when you're buying your black beans, make sure that it's Daniel Fast friendly, that the only ingredients is black bean water and maybe sea salt. And you can also wash off any excess salt if you would like. The black beans that I'm using is from Trader Joe's and I'll just show you what it is. So this is the organic black beans that I got from Trader Joe's. And then if you look at the ingredients, the ingredients say uh, organic black beans, water, and sea salt. And that's the only ingredients in this can. So I rinsed and drained them. I also have some extra virgin olive oil as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute my onions and peppers with about one tablespoon off this olive oil and once the onions become translucent then what I'm going to do is add the black beans and then add my seasoning right on top and then all I'll do is I'll put that on my sweet potato um, and also I'll probably just put a glob of um, avocado right on top and that's my next recipe so let me put this in the pot and show you what that looks like all right guys, while my pot is heating up, I just want to quickly show you what my seasonings are going to be. I have some granulated garlic, some ground cumin, some Himalayan pink salt, granulated onion, and some black pepper. These are all Daniel Fast friendly, so they're just single ingredient seasonings. Uh, there's no extra preservative or additive, so if you were to look at the ingredients list, you'll see it really just says cumin on it. Um, and again, you don't have to use any of these seasonings if you don't like you can use as much or as little as you want just season it to taste but again you guys know that I like to add seasonings and flavors to my food or if you want to use fresh herbs like cilantro or parsley you definitely can or minced garlic that will definitely also give it a really nice flavor as well. Another thing you can add to this recipe is either tomato paste or you could use fresh diced tomatoes and that will also change the flavor profile. You could also add, you know, chili peppers or, you know, red hot uh, pepper flakes. Again, it's really up to you. Whatever you like, you can add to this recipe as long as it's Daniel Fast friendly. And I've definitely shared all of the Daniel Fast friendly spices that I use in my Daniel Fast guide, which I've linked in the description box down below. So I'm just going to use about a quarter teaspoon of all of these mixed together. And that's going to be my seasonings mix for this recipe. So let me get everything together and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, guys, now that my onions and peppers have sauteed for a little bit, I'm just going to add my black pepper right to the pot. Then I'm just going to mix that in. And then I'm going to sprinkle my seasoning mix right on top. And all I'm going to do is just mix this up, put the cover on and turn it down on low and let it simmer for three to five minutes and it will steam with the water from the cover on. You don't need to add anything else. But like I said, if you wanted to add diced tomatoes or tomato paste, this would be the time to add this. 
And so as you can see, this is going to have a nice flavor. And all I'm going to do once this is done cooking is add this right to my sweet potato. So if you like this recipe, I ask that you give it a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe for more awesome content just like this. When you guys hit the thumbs up button, it lets me know to keep making more Daniel Fast videos. And it also lets YouTube share this video with other people as well. So again, thank you for watching. But before you leave, I want to remind you, you're only one prayer away. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Take care.